smell like sex and luxury. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel, whatever the case may be for you. For those of you who are returning for, you know, you like the reactions that I do, uh, today is not really going to be that, um, at least not my reactions, um, and it's not going to be to like music or anything, it's, this is going to be a fragrance related video. For those of you who are interested in my fragrance based content, you're going to be happy. This is going to be a fun video. We're going to do something new and cool. I mean, it's not really that new, but the, the concept isn't new, but the approach, the geographic location and such and whatnot, um, it's going to, it's going to be different. Um, demographically, geographically, all of that. Um, so, you know, let me go ahead and just put this out there. I know a lot of people who watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel and that that breaks my, my heart um, and my heart's in relatively good condition right now I had a scare a few weeks ago and I had to get like an echocardiogram and do a stress test and all that but I'm okay I'm okay thankfully uh, but it would make my heart feel even better if you would just hit that big red subscribe button and uh, you know let's be friends you know, let's let's watch my content together. I make it for you. You know, it doesn't cost you to hit the subscribe button. It's free. You like things that are free. We all like things that are free. So today, uh, I'm I'm kind of doing like a versus kind of thing, and it's a weird one. It's a weird one because, I mean, I think these are like two um, things that no one would ever think to like do a verse like a battle with, and it you know, and it's not even really so much that it's a it's a battle. I mean, it is. Did I? Oh, I really chipped the fucking lid on this. I don't know when or how I did that, but that makes me very sad. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, this is this is gonna be a weird one. It really is. Um, basically, the premise behind this is um, I want to see you know out in rural North Carolina, like out in the country there's not a lot of shopping options um when it comes to like I anything really um you know there's walmart dollar general dollar tree family dollar um there's not a whole lot else but so you know you can imagine the fragrance options, fragrance options, real limited. You know, Walmart, you basically, you've got, uh, it's your car. You might have cool water, probably have Curve, probably have Adidas, Stetson maybe, um, Polo, not even real Polo, like classic match, Polo dupes. And you and you got the Armani, uh, the Aqua de Gio dupe, classic match. Um, you know, I recently saw Versace Eros Eau de Toilette. I saw one bottle in a Walmart, which kind of blew my mind. Um, but yeah, so you're not gonna find, you know, higher end designers and brands, and definitely nothing niche um, in a Walmart. But would people who are that has been you know they've they've lived this kind of area and and you know not been exposed to anything different like how would they react and would they like it um you know how much would someone who typically is not used to seeing a price tag for a fragrance over like 25 dollars how would they react to a more expensive fragrance would they be willing to spend the money would uh you know would men be into this stuff and, and want to smell good for their wives or do they not care i don't know i'm i'm not really you know i'm i'm a city boy uh but i am from the south uh but you know we're gonna we're gonna fuck around with this so uh today we're battling dolce and gabbana the one eau de parfum intense Yes, this is the intense version that uh, came out in 2021. Um, this is, to me, this is a banger. It, it's very, 
it's masculine, but it's kind of it's kind of weird. It's kind of soft. It's got good performance. Um, you know, longevity is good. Projection, eh? It's not the best, but um, it 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 gets the job done. Uh, it, it would, it's definitely it, it's in my collection. Obviously, I think it's good. Um, but you know, it's a it's a leathery fragrance. It's got like it's it's got a little powderiness to it. You'd think there was iris in it, but there's not. And it's it's funny. It's it's like everything that comes out. All these intense blinkers, like Dior Homme Intense, uh, iris. You know, very powdery. Um, Valentino Uomo Intense, very powdery. Uh, this is not like super powdery, but it's definitely powdery. But it doesn't have iris as a note. It's got like neroli, cypress, cashmere, um, leather patchouli um clary sage i think it's just it's a really really masculine but like soft and sensual at the same time uh like, like i said very leathery um and powdery but not too powdery if that makes sense but you know i want to see how men how country men react to a fragrance like this and if they would be willing to spend the money on a fragrance like this or this is more on the cheap end but this gets a lot of love in the community and for good reason this is sexy this do you is, love this this is sexy you need to be a real badass to pull this one off not everybody can pull this one off let us know what you think whoa okay it is intense. Right. They're not lying. <laughs> this is Bentley for men. Intense. Another intense. Yes. And uh, this one to me smells like niche. It smells like a niche fragrance. It smells niche quality. Um, it's very masculine. It's very boozy. Very woody. Um, it's got a lot of great notes in it. The breakdown's amazing. Um, I haven't got it memorized. Uh, but I've conveniently got it right here. We got in the top, we got black pepper, bay leaf, bergamot. Awesome. Um, in the mid, we got rum, wood, cinnamon, clary sage, African geranium. In the base, we got incense, leather, benzoin, patchouli, and cedar. I mean, it's just... For the price tag and the quality of the juice in this bottle, you can't go wrong. I think my mood will transition to a more serious vibe. Oh yeah, let's have sex in the back of my Bentley, baby. <laughs> um, and it'd be interesting to see what men around here think of these two fragrances and which one they would be more likely to go for without knowing the price first. This one, you can you can cop this at around thirty or forty bucks at most discounters. Um, and like I said, for the quality and the the fragrance that you're getting um, at this price point and the quantity. You know, it's so like a 3.4 ounce bottle, 100 mil. It's, it's fucking amazing. This is this the value, unreal. Um, and this is you know a 3.4 ounce bottle. Um, I don't remember how much this is at discounters. This is probably okay. So yeah, like Fragrance Net, Macy's. I mean, you're looking at you know depending on what size bottle you get, anywhere from around 70 to 100 dollars, basically. And I think it comes in a couple different sizes. So, you know, you, you're looking at 30, 40 tops. Here, you're looking at 70, 100 tops. So, let's, uh, let's get some noses on these and see what people think and what they'll go for. So, we're out here today in rural North Carolina. Uh, it, there, was a, there was winter, like snow thing happening um and today you know we've got uh dolce and gabbana the one intense and we've got bentley for men intense and uh we're gonna see what the good rural folk of north carolina think of these two fragrances and which one they would prefer dolce and gabbana bentley dolce and gabbana Bentley. 
A few moments later. Run. Two hours later. Dolce and Gabbana. Bentley and Kent's for men. Dolce and Gabbana, the one in Dent's. Twelve seconds later. Three hours later. Damien, what the fuck are you doing? This might be one of the dumbest videos you've made yet. Is this your idea of humor? This is trash, just like your face. You do smell really good though. Did you layer those fragrances? You smell insanely sexy and masculine. You should spray your butthole with both fragrances and then fart into little test tubes and sell them on the dark web. You could call your website Fragrant Farts or Shitty Scents. I gotta go.